Hello friends, and welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I have the ARB drawers installed in the Land Cruiser for a little over a year now. But something you guys probably didn't know is that I almost immediately broke something on the drawers. And that part that I broke is this guy. As you can see, it is the little stopper that holds the drawer in the out position. So even if your vehicle is on a, I guess, decline, you can open the drawers and it will stay out. But the tab, there's supposed to be a little hook right here, broke off. Initially, I thought that was just a me problem. Maybe I installed it crooked or I opened the drawer too hard or I slept on the drawer funny. But after a quick Google search, apparently this is a common problem for the ARB drawers. Looking for a replacement part proved to be very, very difficult as well. I guess a lot of places sell the complete drawer, but not the replacement parts. Long story short, I was able to find a replacement piece for my broken one. So this is the new one right here, and then this guy is the old one. You can see the whole end pretty much snapped off of the old one, and that's how it's supposed to be. The other side, you can see it's just a lot shorter. The whole hook right here is missing. Anyhow, let's try to put it in. Before I get started, let me give you guys a quick review on the drawers itself since it's already been a year, what I like, what I don't like, and what sucks. Check it out. So this is what my Land Cruiser looks like before I stuff it full of camping equipment. As you can see, some of the stuff I leave in here obviously like the fridge and a new addition is the transit bag. I did a video on this last week. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do. As far as durability goes, it seems to be holding up pretty well. The carpet on the drawers themselves still look brand new. Even though I throw my camping stuff in there, I throw myself in there, um, it still looks pretty good. Uh, the plastics, I don't see any problems there they haven't broken or anything yet um, there are some scuffs however but that's expected um, because like I said I load a lot of stuff in here uh, the sliding top still works very well as it should at least and here is my problem usually when you lock it in place it stays well actually this one stayed let's try this one that one does not stay the drawers they should both stay open because if you're trying to grab tools or whatever you have in the drawers itself it uh, makes it a lot more difficult if they don't stay out now as far as fit and finish goes um, it does fit the 100 series really well um, if you guys remember during my install video I showed you guys that you had to cut a little bit along the bottom it was actually like a little dress up piece um, I guess for other vehicles they use it but for the 100 there is a uh, indent for where you need to cut out and as you can see it looks pretty darn close to the uh, bottom of the uh, the plastic piece the uh, the part that's uh, Land Cruiser itself so um, that's uh, the fit is actually pretty good so in the side we have little compartments where I keep my little pool toys and of course if you guys remember from my install video I don't know if you can see that the carpet is still there um, underneath but the little um, the, the mounting points the hooks for the third row seat had to be removed to fit the drawers in so if you guys are considering getting some drawers for your Land Cruiser just know that the mounting points for the third row seats the anchor points on the floor will have to be unbolted to get the drawers to bolt in properly for those of you who want to get the drawers and use it as a sleeping platform and wondered if the back of the seat would line up with the drawer let me show you right here it's pretty close so I've actually slept in this guy a few times and what I usually do is my head will be facing the back of the cruiser and my legs will be over here that way you can't fill the little bit of the, the gap in between now 
for the gap I've actually put it to good use as you can see I have my recovery gear right here the little snatch rope thing um, I've also put a little power inverter right here and underneath uh, if you guys can see that I have a spare axle stashed away just in case uh, I break the CV axle on a trail I have the tools to get it replaced one thing that you have to be careful with these drawers is if you're running a fridge like me um, the cable sometimes gets stuck in between right here so when you have the sliding top you slide it out sometimes the power cord falls in and you close it and it shorts out a bunch uh, shorts out the fuse so um, make sure the length isn't long enough for it to reach the very very edge i mean you have to leave a little bit of slack for it to open but make sure it's not too long where it will fall into the gap and short itself out what's also surprising for the drawers i actually expected it to rattle and squeak and make a lot more noises than it does but the drawers itself actually doesn't make any type of noise even though it's well broken in and well used the only thing that makes noise is probably all my stuff in here the grill the the pots and pans and stuff like that anyhow let's get started on the install so if you're lucky like me and you got the sliding tops for your drawers this is your first step let's slide the top out have it lock in place and then as far as the drawer goes you want to at least unhook the latch so that way when you're all the way up in front which you will be you can push the drawer out without having to come back into the back right here now in the front of the drawer you will see two 10 millimeter bolts on the side and also two 10 millimeter bolts on the other side and these guys will have to be removed So these guys actually have metal washers on them, so make sure you don't drop them or lose them because you will need to use them again when you install the new bump stops. Now that we have the bolts on both sides removed, it's time to get those stoppers out. And what you'll need to do is hang on to the drawer itself and slowly push it back. And you'll see the stoppers are right there so you've got one right there and the other one over there to remove the stopper since we took out the two bolts already it's relatively easy reach in and BAM look at that so that one is broken let's do the other side and yep this side is broken too so as you can see, these guys are the old ones that just got removed from my drawer and these ones are the new ones and they have that little locking tab at the end. One thing that I want to show you guys and make sure that you install it correctly, you want to make sure that these guys are on the correct sides. Um, this is how these two came out of the drawers obviously the tab facing backwards on the other side is the uh, roller so the roller should always be towards the outside of the drawer so drawer right here roller right there and the tab has to be pointing backwards so this one per se we have the roller on the outside tab facing back this one goes on I guess this side of the drawer on my left side if you're kind of looking from front to back and then on the other side we've got the tab facing back which is correct and again the roller on the outside so that way you won't get mixed up um, I mean I don't think they will go in the incorrect way but these guys are pretty brittle and they as you can tell they break very easily putting these guys back in isn't too hard you just gotta line up the two holes with the holes on the drawer now you don't want to push them in too far at first because it will be difficult to fish them back out but if you line up the holes just right you might be able to get one of those bolts threaded in so that's one and see if we can get the other bolt 
should go in easy. There we go. Now, again, these bolts don't need to be torqued down or anything. Just snug with a quarter inch ratchet is more than enough. Now let's give it a shot. Let's first push the fridge back in. Make sure the wire doesn't get tangled onto the drawer, which I don't think it is. And now, moment of truth. There we go. It stays out now that we replace both of these guys. It does take a certain amount of pull to lock it in place. And when you're putting it back, the same amount of force is required. Ta-da, all done. And that is it, a relatively easy and painless install. Now, I did get a chance to look at the stoppers in the other drawer, and to my surprise, they were both okay. I thought I had broken at least one of them uh, prior, I don't know, doing what. Maybe I had switched both broken ones to that one broken drawer since I it wasn't going to work anyways. But because I'm me, I got an extra set just in case they break in the future, which I'm sure they will. But anyhow, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And for more Land Cruiser and Overland content just like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.